Oh my gosh. I don't know about you, but I want to get out of here. Because I was having trouble finding my way back. Because, like I said, that's dead now. They were calling us to come back. People definitely come out here. guys and welcome to today's video so today we are going on a trip through these woods here and they're super creepy we are going to go through these in a couple of hours exploring the woods and river ranch at night and you know just to spice it up a little bit i have a spirit box and we're going to try to see if maybe this is built on indian burial grounds some some grounds you know see if anything's ever died here that i can communicate with because, you know, that is what we do here. We are back, it's dark, and we have the night camera. I just heard something back there. Could have been your foot, you just moved. No, it definitely sounded like it was in the bushes. Anyways, if you guys hear anything in this video, please let me know in the comments if I don't catch it, but I heard it again. Anyway, you hear it? Oh, I heard that that time. I know this is just the beginning of the video, but we are about to jump this fence and see what happens. So guys, right now we have to get past these other campers here so they don't see us. And then I'm not sure if you guys can see that tree. You can kind of see the leaves right there. But once we get over there into that area, we should be fine. This guy looks really pretty. And guys, we do have the night vision camera so we can see. Still kind of difficult to see, but you will be able to see anything we can't on the main camera on the night vision camera. You just heard that? I did, yeah. So we're gonna try to find a good spot to set the camera and like I said, turn on the spirit box so we can communicate and see if anything's going on here. And like, I can show you guys from the other camera, the main camera from the night vision, that we cannot see anything, it is black. And we're hearing all kinds of things over there. I think we're about where we need to go to set up the spirit box and what the heck is that so we kind of went over this area not too long ago just to see what it would look like and aiden just said that was not there before so i would have remembered it because because that makes this a lot creepier that's a table yeah i swear we we looked around this area pretty good and this was not here a table set up camp. Didn't save any of it. So guys, um, I was just recording the whole intro on the night vision camera and the SD card just messed up. And this has happened to me once before. So it's kind of creepy. But anyways, I will get that footage of the, the pole again right here right here and like we said it was not here before no, isn't you said there was a table it looks like there's a table I couldn't there. really see it without the camera it's right there see the black hanger like a base. There's a bottle. And I swear I keep on hearing people walk. Yeah, that was not here before. None of this stuff was here before. There's pipes maybe. But that wasn't there. Does this look like there was a table, or like, what does this look like? It moves pretty, I mean, but that's straight up concrete, so that'd be hard to move. 
But it'd be weird if somebody like put it here. And why would they put it here? Like, there's just piece two. There's another one. So maybe they were trying to stand something up. Who knows? And guys, like I said, you can see that it's pitch black out here. Very difficult to see. But it's scary. It scared me a little bit, not gonna lie. Um, I don't see anybody here. Is anybody here? Anna? Scared me again. And anyways, if something does come up behind us, they can't because of these this little area here. So that'll make our backs protected in some some way. I don't know. I don't know how you could sneak up behind somebody in this. Yeah, you would make noise. So I'll set up this camera. Ooh, and there we are. Aiden is a very uh he goes places all the time in the woods. And so this is kind of his like natural uh, natural area, but. but. There is something different about this place that I've never been in a place. Yeah. So like guys, like I said, the spirit box is already on. It's like they want us to talk to them. Yeah, here, hold this in. I will bring, up, bring out the flashlight. Let's turn. Cut down really low, so it's quiet for right now, so I can get the speaker on. And hold the flashlight. Powering on. Welcome to Alltech Lansing. Gotta get quieter, my guy. Did it die? I thought I heard something behind me a couple times. I heard it over there. Um, also, our speaker is dead. I charged it before we came. That's weird. Guys, and like I've said before, batteries dying is a sign of paranormal stuff. You can still use it without the speaker, right? Yeah, we'll just have to use it without the speaker. That means it'll be just a little bit more difficult to hear. But, and like I always say in every one of these videos, I always put the antenna down so it can use only what's around us. Let's start the sweeping. Guys, our camera just died. As soon as I turned this on. It's all everything. Um, and I'm hearing footsteps all the way around us. Is this supposed to be a sign? Um, here, Aiden, you, you can hold the flashlight. Um, there's not much more we can... Um, Aiden, can you take this camera? Well, what we'll do is because we know the way out is that way, straight ahead. Our night vision camera died which I know was charged. And this battery is still good right now. We have 12 minutes of recording. So if we just play the video straight forward, we'll have all the video we need, just in case anything happens. Um, we have a quick way out if we need to run to where we're camping at. But I guess we can kind of look around. You want to go that way, Aiden? I don't know if I do, but. We could try. The good thing is if anything alive is trying to get us, we will hear it. If anything dead is trying to get us, that's where our uh, our little mission ends there. Because <laughs> we will be not be able to hear what it is. And like I, I'm super sorry that I can't, my light is super dull. But this is as good as I have, guys. Because, like I said, that's dead now. Also, another creepy thing about this is we only have one way out. So if anything goes wrong... I have a weird feeling we should go by that tree right there. So do I. No. Uh -huh. I mean...
I heard something. Thatch. I think we're surrounded. I mean that tree. Me too. Not the big one. I know. That small one. The small white one. I don't Crazy, we were thinking the same thing. We were thinking the same exact thing. Something is literally drawing us towards this tree. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or not. I guess we'll go. I really wish you could be recording this with the, the night vision. That's the tree there. You, I know you guys cannot see it. It's so creepy. Yes. Let's go for it. Both of us can run pretty fast if we need to. And this is way further than what we explored earlier. What do you think, Aiden? I couldn't hurt to go a little farther. There's the tree. Definitely something there. Pipe or something. Yeah, that's another pipe there. I guess let's go to the tree, then start heading back. Because like I said, we are pretty far out. But if we need to make a run, we're hearing something walking over there. Oh, and this gets tall over here. It is at least up to our waist. And we're both not short people, so. There's cans there. People definitely come out here. Maybe not for long. Well, if they last out here. There's something behind us. That's our only way out. Here's the tree. And I think we should go back. Oh, yes, um... Aiden, we should go back. Whatever it is, it'll be scared of us. If it's an animal. If it's not an animal, then it won't be scared of us. But once we get over here, we have to turn our lights off. So they don't see us. And if we start to run and it's an animal, it's going to start hunting us. My heart is beating so fast. Also guys, um, forgot to mention this, but uh, last night where we're camping, we heard somebody yelling help all night. What if it was coming from out here? I don't know. I don't think we should stop very long. I'm turning my light down. Turn your light off, Aiden, so they don't see us. Yes, don't, don't put on the flash. Uh, that was not there. That was definitely not there. Yeah, um... Something goes to get us from behind. We will have no way to go except for run forward. And if something goes from us forward, there is no way out. You heard something? I thought something growled. Well, let's keep on going. This is open. That's a bone. You serious? Yeah. That's definitely a bone. Um, I, I'm not a scientist of any sort, so I don't know what a bone would look like if it's from a human or an animal or anything else like that. So that probably puts a little bit of stress on me. Probably definitely puts a little bit of stress on me. That's definitely bone, isn't it, Aiden? Yeah, that's, that is definitely bone. And hopefully, while I'm talking about this, nothing's behind us. That light got brighter. I feel, keep feeling like something's following us. I feel. I definitely feel like something's following us, whether it's in the woods or not. I definitely do not feel safe. So I know it's difficult to see me, but it's just 
kind of creepy to be sitting here and there is such a thing as night vision goggles that somebody could be watching us with could be anything i have no signal and my phone's ringing i check who was calling it went off as soon as i said something can, can you look at who called hold the light it says nobody called I definitely felt a ringing in my pocket, so that's really creepy. Um, there's thousands of mosquitoes around us, and like I said, there, there is night vision cameras, there is night vision this. We had one, ours went dead. A very clear sign of paranormal. Everybody know that that's a sign of paranormal something. I got a phone call, and nobody was at the other side. Um, just There's something not right about this, and what? Now we started to walk away. What if they were trying to call us back? What do you mean call us back? Like they didn't want us to leave. They were calling us to come back? Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> no. I don't think that's the point. Um, well, I'm not going back. We made it to something that was both calling us, that tree. And that's weird that we both felt, as soon as I walked out there and seen the tree, I felt like it was calling me. Yeah. You too? That's that's kind of creepy, but... I don't know about you, but I want to get out of here. You hear somebody talking? Oh my gosh. Because I was having to find my way back.